Okay, so I wanted to make a video on why you need to use NVMR. If you don't know what NVMR or if you don't know what Vim is, Vim is a text editor that comes back from well, it's pretty old. And the it's an in it's an improvement over VI, which is an original Unix um text editor. So uh, many developers of R and R Shiny, etc., use R Studio, and R Studio is a great ID. Um, R Studio um, has pretty much everything you would ask for. It has a lot, ton of Python support nowadays. It has the server, the the graphs, and it it has a lot of stuff. And if I'm honest with you, I don't use most of it because most of my development time doesn't go into profiling or into building graphs on on the IDE itself. Since I work with Shiny, most of the time I'm looking at this at my browser. Um, so RStudio can get kind of bloated in that sense. And I use RStudio when I need to and when I do testing, profiling, etc. Um, but for my daily development work, I do not, I do not use it. Um, so I'm not telling you to stop using R Studio completely. I just need, I'm just telling you, you need to use this new tool that I'm going to show you that I don't know why it's not more popular. Um, so it is NVMR. NVMR is this plugin for NeoVim and it allows you to use vim as an ide so why would you want to use vim as an ide well for multiple reasons um first of all it's really lightweight our studio on bigger projects bigger shiny projects can take a while to start up um on NVIM, it's going to be a couple milliseconds to start up. And it's going to be really, really quick. Also, you have Vim. Vim has pretty, really powerful key bindings and macros, which help you make your workflow quite good. If you take the time to learn them, you're going to be really, really fast typing around and moving around your documents. And also, it, it works on the terminal. So... I am almost always on my terminal. Um, as you can see, um, since I use Linux, I'm almost always working on my terminal. LS, clear, um, CD, projects, example app, etc. So it's pretty cool. So I wanted to show you kind of how I use it by working um, on a little, well, by pretty much just cloning this RStudio RS Connect repository and moving around the project. Um, I have a pull request that I need to um, fulfill. Um, some documentation, I'm gonna do it right now, but I needed to clone the, the repository into this computer either way. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just clone it. So CD projects, git clone, Paste it here, slash RS connect. CD RS connect, perfect. So um, in my RS connect um, repository. So how do I start NVIM? Do I have to demenu it? No, I just do NVIM and whatever file I wanna do first. So let's say NVIM R slash, um, r slash accounts local i need to edit the deploy app dot r deploy app that r so click and i'm in i'm gonna zoom out a little bit um there you go so right here um i'm looking at the at the source code um i'm getting some warnings um lines should not be more than 80 characters that's absolutely true but it's just by a few so it it's not really that bad but i'm looking at the r code and it's giving me a lot of warnings because 
um, I have it set to function names in style. It should be um, snake case instead of camel case, like they do it right here. Um, but yeah, this is kind of how I, do, uh, I work with my code. And as you can see, it works on terminal. So it's pretty fast. I can go 100 lines up with 100J, 100K to go 100 lines up, GG to go back up. So yes, okay, um, this is a tag setter. What about it? I can use um, a key binding to open up my R console. So as you can see, this is my R console. If I do list.files, it lists the files in the directory I'm on. Um, if I do library tidyverse, right, it's going to bring in the tidyverse. If I do empty cars, it's going to print out empty cars. So yeah, it's an R console. And I can move between them and do my development pretty easily um, with NVMR. Okay, um, cool. This console's a little bit big. How can I make it smaller? I can expand this like that. Now my console's way smaller if you don't use the console that much. Um, and you just need to do like shiny run app. Well, that this works perfectly for you. Okay, I also need a, a terminal. So let me make this a little bit bigger. How can I do it? I can do BSP. And I'm going to split. So look, now I have um, a shiny console times two. I can open up here a terminal. There you go. I have a terminal. So I can do here Neo fetch, and it's going to bring up my Neo fetch easily. Um, I can do any other command ls to list my files. I can clear, etc. So I can have open my console and my terminal pretty easily and move between them and my code. Okay, I want to edit another file simultaneously. So I want to edit not only the deploy app that are so but I also want to edit. Um, I don't know. Uh, locale that are proxies, title servers. So I know there's another one I had to edit for the documentation that I had to do. Um, our pubs, restart app, purge packages. Okay, let's just go into the deploy API that are. There you go. I'm in. I can edit both at the same time. I can make it smaller with whatever key binding I have on my particular terminal emulator. And I can make it, well, bigger. And I can edit my multiple files simultaneously with no problem at all. Okay, I want to open up a file navigator. Um, there you go. Um, I have my file navigator here, and I can open up files and change between files with absolutely no problem. Um, applications, um, deploy API, etc. So I can really have my whole project um, in a pretty fast environment. So look, I can split again into r slash accounts. There you go. And I have my three files opened and you can edit them all at the same time with syntax highlighting, automatic completion. So let me test out the um, automatic syntax completion. Let me close all of this. So let me go one back and I'm just going to do a bit test that R just to test out things and open up my console. I'm going to do library. Look, it opens up normally like Tidyverse library um, shiny. Oh, I have a bunch of libraries shiny. Um, if I want to execute it, I can use the space bar and the line or the chunk I'm over. It's going to be executed every time I hit the space bar. So if I do empty cars, um, it's going to execute empty cars. So it works wonders. I can do an N. I have my files right there. And I can split. If I want to create a new file, I can split vertically with BSP or just split like horizontally 
so I can do like sp um, new file that are and there you go I'm working on two files simultaneously so this is um, a pretty easy thing to learn you just need to learn the key bindings and need to learn the, the commands um, I'm gonna be doing a full tutorial on it later on with going over my config file etc on and how it fully works but I just wanted to make a quick video telling you that it exists and that it's pretty cool. So thank you for watching and hopefully a lot of you will go and investigate a little bit. Thank you so much for watching.